Huh. Holy crap. What a bitch. Brad Bradley. Who the hell is that guy? Wow. Cassie Nova out in the middle of the ring. Oh, really? She's gonna sing. Oh, God, please, someone, please. Oh, shit. Yeah, I agree with this crowd. Please shut up, whore. You're a whore. You're a whore. Oh. Roxy Rose and DJ the Rose in the house. It's my girl DJ right there. You know, Phoenix? Yep. Oh, bold, bold, bold. Yeah, let's get interesting, dog. Can I go? Whoa. If that ain't a monkey wrench, I don't know what is. You heard it right. Cassie Nova. Uh, we got a tornado tag team match going down. Allie versus Lily. Going to be great. And welcome to Flow Triumph 2. And of course the main event winner goes to that shit. And Brittany against Amber. And I think this is the debut of Miss Brittany's boyfriend, I guess. Is that her boyfriend? Of uh, Brad Bradley. I asked him if he was, and he said, yeah, so I'm going to have to go with it. Okay, he said, yeah. All right. Well, here she comes, Miss Brittany. Wow, isn't she just gorgeous? That's crazy. Tommy Cattle actually signed. Kind of going back on his word a little bit. DJ DeRose versus Roxy Rose in the main event tonight with the winner going to the Great British Bash. Cassie said they had a little talk. Something tells me there wasn't a lot of talking. What a slut. God, she's such a whore. Anyway. Here comes Ember, and uh, if I was Ember, I'd be a pissed off bitch. That's one way to look at it. Because she just heard her talking to her, and Ember isn't one of those, hey, I'm going to fool around kind of girl. She's a rocker. She's a, she's in a band. What's that band called? Pyroxic. Pyroxic. I was rocking that today. Even though, you know, she's a woman, and I don't like women singers. Carrie Underwood fucking blows. Anyway. What song were you listening to? I was listening to Burn the Churches. It was pretty alright, I guess. I don't know. She's a woman. Who cares? Anyway. And here we go. Ember versus Brittany. Damn, Brittany. God, Brittany coming out swinging. Oh, Amber swinging too. Going from the arm ringer, arm drag, real early, arm drag, honestly. Well, there's no really better time you can do an arm drag than the right Phoenix! Sure. I'm pretty excited to be in Nashville, Tennessee today. Any reason? Hell yeah, city of country music. <laughs> Not! Screw country music. What is Brad doing? Is he confused? What is he? Okay. Anyway. I told him to get down. That's Finally, we might have a decent ref. Yeah, for real. Brad, for some reason, getting on the apron, and then a head scissors just happened, and Brittany going for the arm ringer. That just that little distraction is enough to get Amber off of her, Ember off of her game. Brittany going back, coming with another great athletic head scissors. You know, Brittany's a freak athlete, honestly. Captain of the cheerleading team. Uh, prom queen. Prom queen. I don't know what has to do with athleticism, but I'm just reading down her stats, and that's what's up. Anyway, she's she's one 
tough cat. <laughs> I mean, she's athletic as hell. And Ember, Amber, Ember, Ember is creative as fuck and just chopped the shit out of her. But then again, we went, hey, what the hell are you doing, Brad? Get down. He's confused. We don't fly for that shit. Get down, you stupid bastard. Okay. So Ember really wanting to... Oh my god! Grabbing her by her hair! And Brad trying to grab her by... Oh shit! Ember just elbowed Brad in the face! Ember is not taking any prisoners today. She has to be pissed from what she heard backstage. Giving her a little more oomph to kick her ass. Ow. Kicked her in the knee. That long-term damage to the knee, I mean... People retire from that shit. Trust me, I know. I retire more people than anybody because I'm Ethan Brawler, the EWW Hardcore Champion, as we go into a bulldog. Nice bulldog. I just seen some panties there. Awesome. Success! Ain't that right, Phoenix? It's a family show, folks. Yeah, so get your little boys together and look at some panties. Anyway. Oh, shit. Head scissors there with an elbow to the face. Brittany going back to that arm. Brittany also a very smart wrestler. It looks like she's trying to work over her arm. Probably to put her in a patented Ethan Brawler Fujiwari Amba. And like I said, going straight for that arm, dropping the leg. You know, simple wrestling stuff can go a long way. She just punched her in the arm, kicked her in the arm. Oh, that was to the face. Kind of get her off guard there. Ember just saying, get the fuck off me. And Brittany hitting her with another Hurricane Rana. Damn, Brittany is so good. Ember getting the advantage here. Kicking Brad, what the hell are you doing? Are you being serious right now? Let the girls fight, shit. Move out of the way. Okay, thank you, director. Shit. Oh, we're going back to Brad. What the hell's going on in Nashville, Tennessee? Got a lock up here. Good calling elbow tie up there. And BAM! Again. And then dropping the elbow on that arm. Brittany is a smart wrestler. Don't you think so, Phoenix? Yeah. Okay. Brad. Brad told me to say that. Oh, did he now? Whatever, man. You're too... You're not enthusiastic enough, dude. We're in Nashville, Tennessee. The city of... Well, stuff. I mean, we're in Nashville. Reverse DDT. Nice reverse DDT. Ooh. Seen some panties there. Yeah, buddy. Flip over. Brittany did. And Brad on the apron again. Grabbing. Oh, she grabbed him. And then a little confrontation with words. And oh, damn. Brittany just knocked the. Or Amber just knocked the fuck out of him. And we just seen a Brittany factor from nowhere. With the distraction. That could be all, folks. One. Two. Holy crap! Amber kicked out of the Britney Factor. Amber just probably going on pure rage alone. S bitch slaps her. Amber coming back here. She's feeling it. Getting her in the corner. Northern Lights suplex it looks like. Yep. Brad trying to intervene. Trying to distract her again for Britney to get the, uh, the edge off. Amber's really just eyeing Brad. Oh god! Brittany then says, get the fuck your eyes off my man, you stupid bitch. And starts hitting her saying, oh my god, you're looking at my man right now. Like, whatever. Boom! What an elbow. You know, Brittany might be a bitch. And might think she's, you know, better than she is. But she is really good. Elbow drop. Two of them. Dropping them in the bag, bro. Man, they got little bodies, too. Which means they got little spines. Which means little elbows hurt. Suplex right there. I would just like to say thank you for watching Flow tonight. Flow Triumph 2, that is. We're, go We're on the heels of our Great British Bash CPB coming up pretty soon. So, stay tuned for that. And we got a head scissors from Britney, baby! Oh, yeah. Brittany could be setting up for that tummy tuck um, moonsault little cheerleading thing. This has been a pretty good fight. 
As Amber, Ember, her name's Ember, folks. Ember slings her by her hair, telling her to get back up, running. Oh, running in Zaguri. Nice. What is Brad doing? Brad is, holy, oh my God, Ember was reverse suplex onto the outside. What are you talking about? Why are you mad about that? Of course it's a DQ, you dumbass. Okay, we got the Furies going against the Smoking Guns. Going right into this match. What do you think about that crazy ending to that match, Phoenix? That was indeed crazy. I know, right? I'm opening up my soda right here. PWX brand soda. Buy it in the store near you. Hell yeah. Anyway, we got the Furies right here. They haven't wrestled in a long time. I'm going to go against the well, well established tag team, the Smoking Guns. And um, what do you think about the decision to have um, Roxy Rose go against DJ Rose tonight? He I think it might uh, leave a sour taste in a lot of fans' mouths, but you got to consider that it's going to be a great main event tonight. I agree. Roxy Rose and DJ DeRose. I mean, you can't find a better pair of girls right there. That's why they were in the number one contenders match in the first place. Because they're good. And tonight, they're going head-to-head. -head and they're pretty good friends, as you've seen, as they came out together. Mm -hmm. Two friends going at it, you know, just for a chance at the belt, the flow championship. A very prestigious title. I mean, well, it kind of is. It is. It is, because this is the best female wrestling we got. And, yes, I just said the best female wrestling. Female wrestling. It shouldn't exist, but God damn it, we're the best. And that's not just call wrestling. The best. Oh, yeah, we're the best. Anywhere. Period. Not you. That is a gross, gross. Why would you say that? Anyway, wrestling right now. And, of course, PWX Tag Team Rules. We got, we got a little Tornado DDT or Tornado. <laughs> Tornado tag action going down here. Have you been sipping some of that PWX brand alcohol? Oh, of course I have! Woo! We're in Nashville, Tennessee, baby! As we go... It's pretty good. God, Brittany is such a bitch. Ooh, nice spinning elbow there. By, uh... What's these girls' names? It is Amy Ashburn and uh, Alex Bridges. Those are the smoking guns? I think so. <laughs> you don't even know. No, I don't. You just started signing women tag teams for this. I understand, man. I understand. As an Irish whip in the corner, and the brunette just kind of runs the ropes like nothing's wrong. All I gotta say right here is the Furies. Yes. They looking pretty sexy. What do you think? Sure. Yeah, buddy. Anyway. I, I mean, I think it's kind of unfair that Cassie Nova gets the night off and what could potentially be one of her opponents is in a blockbuster main event fighting for the chance. What do you think? Championship advantage. Championship advantage. That explains it all, really. Cassie Nova, the first ever flow champion. And, ow, God, just I put her in the back of the head and a running head scissors. The Furies is pretty much kicking the shit out of them from what I've seen. Yep. I've yet to see a Russian leg sweep, and I'm kind of upset. If I was in the ring, you know, a male, the EWW hardcore champion, Ethan Brawler, not a paper champion, I would have done through, like, a thousand Russian leg sweeps. Because that is the most effective wrestling move in wrestling history. Do you understand me, Phoenix? Do you? No. Oh, okay. Well, one day you will. When I throw that Russian leg sweep on you. Anyway. We got an arm ringer here. Irish whip into the corner. Nice. I wish that they knew another move but a head scissors, but damn, who cares? I like seeing them. 
How hard is it to wrestle in those short shorts, do you think? I have absolutely no experience in you've, short shorts. You've never wore short shorts before? No. What a freak. Anyway. Oh, I'm going for a spinning wheel kick there and another head scissors. Wow. Nice. And later on tonight, we got Lily going up against Allie? Yes. Lily versus Allie. Allie Cat going against... Lily. Have fun calling that. Yeah, Lily, Ally, Ally, Lily, 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 Ally, Ally, oh, oh. Yeah, that's going to be fun. But not as fun as this tag team match right here. It's just it's just a war. She just ran her face into a kick. That right there is tag team wrestling. I like watching tag team wrestling. I've never actually been in a tag team because I am the tag team. I could be in a tag team just by myself because I'm the EWW. Hardcore champion, Ethan Brawler. And while we're on the subject of piece of shit males, let me talk about Brad Bradley. If he ever, ever, if I ever see him again, lay his hand on a woman, I will kick him in his fucking face. Really? Yes, I'm sick of this shit. Ethan Brawler don't f go for that shit. Yeah, I don't like women wrestling, but God damn it. You don't fucking just grab a woman and reverse suplex him out of the ring. Shit could be hurt. Seriously. He has no business doing that. He's a manager. He needs to know his damn place around here. Anyway, I'm sorry I had to do a little shoot there. But he kind of pisses me off. Okay. He's back been to here this for match. five minutes and you already want to kill him. Yeah. Fuck him. Him and Casanova. I want to put them in a tag team match with a gas chamber. See who wins. Fucking bitches. Anyway. Somehow I bet Cassie would sleep her way into a victory for the team. <laughs> oh, shit! <gasps> She'd be sucking Adolf Hitler's dick just to get a win. Anyway. That was very vulgar. I'm sorry to all of our women viewers. If there is any. Anyway. Oh! Into the back. What do you mean if there is any? This is a show about women empowerment. I think it's a show about sexy bitches kicking ass. Yeah, it depends on who you are. Yeah. I think it's about wrestling, and that's all it's all about. Even though these are wi women wrestlers, which they don't really know how to wrestle, but they do the best they can, damn it. And it's definitely not about uh, a bunch of sack of shit quarterback named Brad Bradley wanting to put his hands on Ember. Ah, oh, that pisses me off. A good knee to the back there. Everybody likes a good knee to the back. You ever got a knee in the back, Phoenix? I have not. God, what a vagina you are. Not that there's anything wrong with having a... What just happened? I think uh, the black-haired Fury stole a pin, I guess. We'll look at the replay, see what happened. I have no idea. You're too busy talking about knees to the back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, knees. a good knee to the back hurts, okay? Have you ever been knee to the back? No. Okay. I did I just miss the finish of this match again? It's okay, it's women wrestling, it's not like it. Is that a Britney factor? Holy crap. No. This is a twelve D shot in twelve D by the way. In dimensions you can't even understand. Cause it's that awesome. Twelve D, by the way. Oh wow. They just love each other, don't they? Yep. Boom! Shazam. Blammo. I think we're gonna move on to our Ali versus Lily match that is next, and two up and coming stars going head to head in the flow ring. That's what flow was all about. The best in women wrestling going head to head. Sexy transition. Whoa, what's going on here? Excuse me. Hey, I got that email too. Oh, shit.
Wow. You could cut the tension with that on with a knife. Huh. What kind of knife? A, a yellow one. Anyway. I I wouldn't think wearing a color is that important. I don't know. As long as I got my Hawaiian shirt, I'm good. My Hawaiian shirt yellow? Nope, nope. It's green. I can't hear you. Your shirt's too loud. Oh, you're a funny guy. I signed your paychecks. Tread lightly. Tread lightly? I tread fucking hard on your face. Anyway, there's some boobs in my face right now. Very nice. And this is Allie right here. Allie Cat, who's going to go against Lily May. What? Or Lily. Here she comes. The submission specialist who uses the Lily Lock to great effectiveness. I mean, I've seen her in a few matches tapping bitches out when she slaps that in. She can hit it from anywhere. She's great in the ring. Great with good kicks. Lily is just a very sound competitor, even though she's a woman. Your future wife, if I recall. Yes, yeah, she is my future wife. And the cool thing about Lily is... She goes, kicks ass in the ring, and then she goes home and plays some games. And I'm talking video games. I'm talking Black Ops 2. She's already got that shit pre-ordered. Yeah, Lily's sexy. Anyway. She don't play no Black Ops 2. Yes, yeah, she does. Does not. I got her on PSN, nigga. Lily May 2012. I think you got the wrong person. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't know where the May comes from. May? Lily May? Wait, I think that's my sister's name. No, no, no. I don't have a sister. Dog? You been sipping on that NXN brand liquor? Oh, of course I have! Woohoo! Bummer! You want to plug it for us? NXN booze! Buy it at your local mart, baby! Anyway, I'm going to call this match. Fujiwari Armbar here. That's what I was talking about. Lily with her skill just to throw in a submission. That is not the Lily Lock, though. Lily Irish whipping into the corner here. Nice kick to the gut. Ooh, face washes. Also, a very deadly weapon of Lily. As you recall, she beat she beat Necrosis with that. Correct. And a Northern Light suplex. Very well executed. Lily is really staying on her, trying to make her submit with a good Cobra Clutch. Everyone likes a good Cobra Clutch. And Allie... Judo throwing that shit, saying, hey, I'm not going to give up to that. And she kitty claws her in the face and kicked her in the gut. And we got a backdrop from Lily. This action is crazy. Back and forth as Allie gets the advantage and then it's put in a front face lock. Irish whip to the corner. Lily might be sitting up for something, going for that kick again. And Allie scouted it and gave her a dragon screw. Or should I say kitty screw and a kitty bulldog. Anyway. A kitty bulldog? A kitty bulldog. Because it's a kitty. Meow. Kitty. You know? Are you going to say kitty before everything she does? Of course not. Ooh, kick to the gut. Kitty style. Oh! Allie, going for a kick. And it's blocked. Lily scouting that kick. Good. Taking her down. Showing some wrestling. Telling her to get back up and right to the eyes. That's like a cat scratch to the eyes, and she goes for a wild cross body, and Lily just blindly dodges. Throwing her into the ropes, putting her down, kicking her, putting her knee in her face, saying, here, smell this bitch. Or she could be king off a of tech and saying, eat the knee. You know what I mean. Anyway. Oh, nice. Drop toe hold there. Ear punches, Jesus Christ! Have you ever been punched in the ear, Phoenix? No. It sucks. Ear punches are <laughs> really painful. You can see there, a little leg drop. Oh, wow. That's original. She hits her with a an X Factor. She gets right back up from it. Bounces right back up, and she's going for a little cross arm breaker. Oh! Lily, though, very, very good in submissions. Gets out of it. Knows exactly how to get out of it as soon as it's applied. 
and hits a good Northern Light suplex with her leg hitting the steel cables. Two suplexes in a row. Can this be true? It can. Ooh, brain buster. Brain buster? It's a nice brain buster, too. Gets her up. Oh! Working down that arm. Probably setting up for a lily lock. And, yep, I was right. She's got her in the lily lock. Lily lock. She, she's really, really close to the ropes. But she might just give up. Oh, nope. She grabbed the ropes there. So Lily had to break. Nice elbows to the face. Elbows to the back from Lily's in. I don't know what the fuck just happened there, but... Damn it, if he would have hit, that would have been effective. And we're going back to wrestling. That's what I like to see. A little bit of wrestling every now and then. A little bit of wrestling. But you see girls get in there, and they take everything so personally, they just start hitting, hitting people, and they start blowing themselves up. And when they start blowing themselves up, they get hit with one move, and they're dead. God! Well, that's a common mistake with anybody who's going against Ethan Brawler. As Lily stomps on that arm. One, two, fixing the save. She would have beat him with an arm stomp. That would have been awesome. And she goes with the arm ringer again. Have you ever been beat by an arm stomp? I haven't been beat. Nice headlock there. Nice. Arm ringer there, and then BAM! Crucifix after all that arm pressure right there. Nope. Who do you got, Phoenix? Tell me. Who do you have in this match? Well, in this match, we have Lily and Allie. Yes. Who do you think is going to win as this Northern Light suplex with the bridge? This could be it right here. We got a one, two, three. Allie. I have Lily winning. Oh, and Lily. Lily proving that there's so many ways she can beat people. Finally wearing her down enough. Wearing the arms down, really, when she applied that Northern Light suplex just enough that she couldn't, she just couldn't raise her arm off the mat. And right here is where the real wrenching came in with the Lily Lock, of course. I mean, Allie put up a really good fight. But once that was in, there was no getting up from that. The Lily Plex. That's what it's going to be called now, the Lily Plex. The Lily Plex? Yes. As you see, the arms were pinned down, and it was a good trick pin right there. And there she is, Lily. Oh, talking some shit here, and oh my god. Brittany, watch out, Lily! Oh, oh, I tried to tell you. Um, oh my god, Brittany just going crazy. And is this a little... Could this be over the, the yellow? Are you serious? She just attacked her because she was wearing yellow. She did warn her. Yeah, she did. She comes up and hits her from behind. Oh, well, main event. Yep, here comes the main event. Roxy Rose versus DJ Del Rose for the number one contendership, baby. A little backstory on Roxy Rose. She was in the Navy for three years, and when she was in her, when she was based in England, she actually did some bare knuckle boxing up there, and became relatively good. And she was eventually discharged from the Navy because one of her officers yelled at her and she punched him in the face. But you know that's another story. A little backstory on her, and here comes the DJ the baby here she comes out you fist pumping it up ready to party here she comes man it sure is a pleasure just to have DJ to Rose here of course Helen from New Jersey not like Eric Bang though she's actually a good fighter from New Jersey another top contender Speaking of good fights, I just got word from backstage that Tommy Cattle has signed for the Great British Bash, Lily versus Brittany. Oh my God! What do you think about that, Phoenix? Should be a good match. Should be a little beef going down there after Brittany attacking her. I don't blame him. Anyway, 
And here we go. A little bit of Roxy Rose versus DJ DeRose. Huge match on both sides here. Roxy Rose going right for the headlock. Going from behind. Oh, God. A kick to the back of the leg. DJ DeRose came to win. A gut wrench suplex? Are you serious? You know when someone hits a gut wrench suplex, they're serious. You know what I mean? You ever got hit with a gut wrench suplex? No. German? Damn. She answers with a German. Oh, there's the bare knuckle boxing background of her. Also being in the Navy. Very sound in wrestling. And then, of course, her wrestling training comes in there, too. But, you know. I, I don't know who trained these women, but one day I will. Nice kicks and punches. Just a flurry of strikes coming from Roxy Rose. DJ DeRose doesn't even know how to defend from this. All she knows is crazy club style, which is fist pumping someone's face. She's not used to it being on the other hand. Other fist in face. Anyway. I swooped in the corner, right to the corner. Ow. You ever got hit in the corner? Turnbuckle? You ever hit a turnbuckle? Ever? Ever? No. No? Never? Okay. Go from behind. Kick to the back. Turns her back around. Oh, God. That was a nice move. A little bulldog action there. I like a good bulldog every now and then. Not like a regular bulldog. But a bulldog like that. Something. A little face buster variation. It's nice to see people actually not using the same stuff. Damn. Roxy Rose. Hitting him with a spinning wheel kick. I like what Roxy Rose is doing here. She's waiting for her to get back into the ring. And oh! Switch his press! Oh, that was awesome. Roxy Rose waiting for her to get back in the ring was probably a mistake. Because she hit her with a Luthez press and then a fisherman suplex. I mean, anything to get the advantage. I just don't think they're going to be too good of friends after this. Nice, German. And this is, this is, who's going to win right here? Who's going to go to England? Who's going to go to Bath, England to become the Flow Champion? Or compete for the Flow Championship? But everybody knows that, you know, Cassie Nova's not a lesbian, so she can't sleep her way into this victory. As she hits the ropes and kick to the face! Oh my god, the rotation on DJ DeRose's body, she could be out! Nope, two count. DJ DeRose needs to do some sort of offense. That was a very long two count. And she, she's got a little strategy now, trying to go for the arm. And then goes for a head scissors. That makes no fucking sense. DJ DeRose, what are you thinking? Are you stupid? Someone needs to just pull that itty bitty string on the back. And just let them titties fly. You was way off topic. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I was distracted. Anyway. She's putting him there. A little denim burn in her face. You know, if you get hit with denim, it hurts. You ever been hit with denim? Of course I've been hit with denim before. I used to went, work in a freaking denim factory, and denim would fly at me, and I'd dodge it. But one time it hit me, and then I killed all denim in the world, and that's why you didn't have denim for an entire year. Until I eventually made denim. Anyway. She just... Oh, she's telling her to get back up for something. Getting back up. Spear! A spear from hell! Holy spear! Spear! One! Spear! Two! Three! Spear. Spear! Roxy Rose! Roxy Rose is going to Bath, England! Roxy Rose is going to go against Cassie Nova in Bath, England at the Great British Bash! Keep a lookout for that event, folks. That is going to be a great match. The two toughest ladies in the entire flow going against each other. An entire female league of wrestling. And that's going to be happening October 16th. Unless it's after October 16th. In which case, why haven't you watched that yet? Yeah. Go watch it because it's crazy, I bet. Anyway, you just can't do that time stuff with me. That's just crazy. Anyway, there's your winner right there. And maybe even your future champion. She is ecstatic going to Bath, England. Well, you got to feel sorry for DJ DeRose, but who cares? 
That's something for another day. DJ DeRose very disappointed, obviously, if she can wake up from that horrible spear. Her head really slammed against the mat hard. Look spear. at her. Spear. 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 Anyway, your winner and possibly new champion. Peace out. Bye, guys.